surveillance is uh, the, the the notion that uh, an organization, an entity, a government, police are watching something and collecting information. All of us can watch and everybody has cameras and so forth. But what do you do with all that information? And this is the kind of the, the difference between information and intelligence. Satellites are incredibly expensive and, um, and uh, they have a certain predetermined orbit. Uh, but balloons you can la launch at whenever you want. So the ones that were that were used uh, recently that, that that got all the press, these are flying at um, it's estimated between sixty thousand and a hundred thousand feet, um, and that's pretty high up. And so you can get a lot of information, especially if you have uh, advances in camera technology and uh, other sort of mechanisms uh, to to examine whatever it is that you're looking for. It's not perfect because you're buffeted by the winds, you're buffeted by all kinds of other things, and you can get shot down. But um, but it's used, it's used greatly, and not just by intelligence organizations, it's also used by, um, by NOAA, it's used by uh, ham radio enthusiasts, it's used by a whole bunch of other folks. So uh, balloon technology has uh, been around for two, over 200 years, and, and it's here to stay. Satellite technology has uh, uh, has been in existence since the days of Sputnik, um, but now there are all kinds of commercial and government satellites orbiting around uh, the, the the Earth. It is actually very good. It what it does is it takes uh, all kinds of photos, and they, we have all kinds of uh, photo imagery technology that that can look at various things. We have things like thermal. Uh, uh, capabilities that look at heat signatures, uh, all kinds of really neat uh, technology that are out there. But essentially, you need very, very strong, sharp cameras. And those are incredibly expensive. And so, um, so for a very long time, only the United States and maybe the Soviet Union and now maybe China can actually pull these things off. Nothing is secure. You put information on a third party vendor's site, whether it's uh, Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or TikTok or what have you, that information is transmitted to somewhere else, uh, some sort of data farms in some, you know, whether it's in California or it's in China or uh, in the, the Emirates. Uh, and that information can be used by uh, individuals within the social media organization or by the state if they have access to it. A lot of the information and platforms, etc., uh, such as social media platforms, are private companies. They can do whatever they want to do, and so uh, there are only limits that uh, for what the United States can actually do. Now, we can the FBI can go talk to Facebook and say, and the Department of Justice can go and say, "Listen, we've found uh, uh, some sort of nefarious activity on your platform. Maybe you should do something about it." but the United States government cannot unilaterally shut it down. Now, stopping nation state efforts to influence the United States using social media, that's also very difficult, but oftentimes they are going to try to influence the United States based on American companies such as Meta or uh, Twitter, etc. And so we have a little bit more leverage over American companies because they are based in the United States. But honestly, it is it is something that uh, is cheap to do, it's cheap to carry out, and we'll probably see a lot more of, of these uh, uh, foreign influence shenanigans in the future.